الاوديو اي اتشيزو اوكي هلو هلو Ciao a tutti, back again. Benvenuti. Hey, we should make a video about how we ship you the instrument. It's not an easy duty. 20 years ago, I would have never thought about that we are going to ship so many instruments with the strings pulled up directly to you. We're just finishing a cello which goes to Hawaii. A customer in New Zealand received his instrument. I sent a violin to Denmark. I sent instruments to the United States, California, um, Portugal, um, Germany. They all get the instruments already with strings up, okay? First of all, because I don't trust other makers that they put the things exactly how they should be and then the customers would be disappointed. I want them to get the instrument exactly the way how I think it is the best way it should be. So now I'm going to show you how I ship an instrument and uh, we make it two uh, options. One, maybe they we publish them both together, but maybe somebody who plays a violin doesn't want to see how I pack a violin while he's interested in a cello and the other way around, okay? So I show you how I send a violin and a viola and how I ship a cello, okay? But now first we drink a coffee, it's 11 o'clock. Today, coffee is much better than yesterday. Anyhow, let's get started. These are chips and we need them for the cello. When I pack a cello and the strings are up, usually we send a cello like this. This is near now already, uh, you can tell already when the guy is showing up that there is a cello inside, right? But like this, we shipped for the past 35 years, um, years, cellos like this. And they still arrive like this when I get them from Germany, my Scala Perfetta. They come in a box like this, okay? Because right now I cannot go up, so I have to trust him, Heinz that what he's sending me is exactly uh, um, like my requirements. Otherwise, I went up and to double check. Now I double check and if it's not good, I sip it back, okay? So he's already, oh my God, Edgar is, is, is very picky. So he's getting better and better. Less and less we have to send back. But I'm very, um, uh, how do you say, keen, I think is the right word to uh, what I get. We will work already over 20, wow, even more, 25 years now together. We know each other. He knows what I want. He learned a lot of me. And so he's sending the instrument like this. Now, it's useless to tell you how it is exactly in here like this. The neck goes in, the scroll is here. It is even made very nice with the pegs, but I get the instruments in the white, so it's not no pegs here blocking it. And these ones are go next uh, left and right into the sea. There he puts a, a piece of wood inside and it is slightly, uh, when you open it up, it's a little bit loose inside, but better loose than too strong, okay? And then when the, the, the shipping company comes, instruments arrive pretty good. Still, this is a, a good way if the strings are down. So now I show you how we send now a cello with the strings up. Because with the strings up, if I would put in inside, the string, just the most weakest point here, would be just on the outside of the instrument. So it's not good. So what I'm going to do is I don't chip it in a box like this. You can't imagine the workshop without shipping boxes was super big and we thought it will be never possible to make all this room full. And now we bought this, these boxes, there's a company outside of Cremona and we get them made there and they're always complaining because we have so few. So they don't want to make us these shipping boxes because usually companies get a thousand of those boxes. So. I'm glad that usually I don't do it like this, but 
this is more or less the box. I can certainly show you as well how I do it, but this is the measurement of the box. So this is the size of a box when you receive your cello. So you slightly bigger, square, which permits me to put inside a, a, a cello case. Now, if you're now purchasing a cello, master cello uh, or a linea maki or um, a cello from Marco, um, Anna, Min or whatever, or a Scala Perfetta, I usually I give you a shipping cost which is specifically on your address. So I, I don't want to uh, pay a visit to your house. It's just because without your precise address, I cannot figure out how the shipping cost is. We sent now recently, a, a, I think it was a cello. Yes, a cello to Jersey Island. I didn't even know where it is. And it was not easy to figure out who is shipping to Jersey Island, which is an island which uh, takes part to uh, um, England, but is in front of uh, France, for instance. So I need the exact address in order that I can figure out the shipping cost. So now, I, I save you now this one here with the, with the tape and everything. This is the shipping box. And into this shipping box, I can put in a, a, a cello case. Um, the cello case which I put inside, this is now a, a bum case, let's say. You can also have a bum case or whatever. Uh, just um, don't be p too picky about the colors, otherwise I have to wait and until it comes. But, but certainly, if you have clear ideas, tell me. Maybe you have two or three options with the colors. Then I can also organize your cello case. I go here to the music store, um, Scaramuzza. Uh, I, I, I don't make my living by selling cases. Just, just to, uh, It's just for me a, a packaging material, okay? And it's somehow I know it. It's just, I'm sorry that we sell high precious instruments and then we sell them in, in lousy uh, Chinese cases, but it's the best way to ship because we need room around. So this one is a good case, but it's not so idle for shipping, but I can send you a case like this. Otherwise, if you don't specify what kind of case, I just buy for 180 euro at Scaramuzza a shipping box, which is a little bit bulky. And I put it in here and adding all the free space, chips. These chips I get here from Cremona. Bertogli Nic Nicchetti, I think is the shop. Four of these bags fit in my car. More or less two, uh, eight shippings for cello shippings for, with four of these bags. And uh, you can recycle them later on or you can also keep it. And in case you have to ship back the cello, you always can use it uh, once again. So, the cello is in here, in a shipping case, uh, in a very bulky and safe shipping case, strings up, signed usually the exactly position, and the, the weight here is, um, the shipping weight is, I think uh, Min told me something about uh, 50 or 60 kilograms, okay? So if you consider 50, 60 kilograms shipping around the world, I think that our shipping rates with UPS or DHL are very competitive and right now with COVID prices raised a little bit plus the 180 for the shipping box um, we're about let's say generally speaking let's say I say 500 now min immediately no it's not 500 it's uh, sometimes it's 680 it depends on the on which month which date um, and how quick usually five working days and the instrument arrives very safe all my customers are happy with this cello shipping. You don't have to worry about ordering a cello online. You can listen to the instrument and if you're not happy, as soon as this COVID um, is loosening up, since we can see it already that in Australia and in uh, China they have already first successes to uh, show us. And so it will also stop w uh, within our uh, areas. Sooner or later, just have patience, respect the rules and continue ordering in order that you can use your time and have fun and enjoy and increase your playing and, and performing 
Now is the time to invest in yourself, in your ability to play, to do what you love, and to be happy at home and stay home and just continue playing, okay? And if you have a problem, let me know. Maybe I can help you. If you're ready to place an order for a new cello, I am here, okay? Bow we can put inside if you want, okay? I hope this was a very good uh, video where you're a little bit getting a little bit more confidence that sending a nice cello from Cremona directly, why not? You get it in a safe and good way and you can afford it and in case later on you're, uh, something is uh, that you're unhappy, next Italy vacation, come see Venice, see Rome, Florence and certainly show me your cello, come here and in case you see something which you are, would be uh, happier, even same category or something more expensive, we can talk about it. Just make your first step and trust in what I'm doing from the very early morning up to very late at night. Thanks for watching, say your friends, subscribe, bye bye!